Have you ever heard of syphilis and wondered how doctors test for it? Or maybe you've come across terms like VDRL or RPR and had no clue what they meant? In this video, we're breaking down everything you need to know about the syphilis test, VDRL and RPR. Whether you're here out of curiosity or for your health, stick around because this information could be more important than you think. Let's start at the very beginning. What exactly is syphilis? Syphilis is a sexually transmitted infection, or STI, caused by a bacteria called Treponema pallidum. It spreads mostly through sexual contact, but can also be passed from a mother to her baby during pregnancy. The scary part? Syphilis can go unnoticed for years and cause serious health issues if left untreated, including damage to the heart, brain, and other organs. That's where testing comes in, and that's what VDRL and RPR are for. VDRL stands for Venereal Disease Research Laboratory Test. RPR stands for Rapid Plasma Region Test. Both of these are blood tests that detect antibodies, not the bacteria itself, but the body's immune response to it. Think of them like an alarm system. If your body has been exposed to syphilis, these tests pick up the alarm signals your immune system is sending out. So why do we need these tests? Syphilis can be sneaky. In its early stages, it might only show up as a small sore or rash, symptoms many people ignore. These tests help catch the infection early, even if you don't feel sick. Early detection means early treatment, which is key to preventing long-term health damage. And here's a critical point. Syphilis is curable, but only if it's caught in time. Here's what to expect during a VDRL or RPR test. A healthcare provider will take a small blood sample, usually from your arm. That sample goes to a lab. The lab checks for those specific antibodies we mentioned earlier. The process is quick, often done in a few minutes, and results can come back the same day or within a couple of days, depending on the facility. Okay, so you got your results. Now what? A positive result usually means you've been infected with syphilis at some point. But remember, these tests can sometimes give a false positive, especially in people with other infections or autoimmune conditions. That's why doctors often follow up with a confirmation test, like the FTA-ABS, Fluorescent Treponemal Antibody Absorption Test, to be sure. A negative result usually means you haven't been infected, but if it's too early in the infection, your body may not have made enough antibodies yet. That's why timing matters. So when should you consider getting tested? If you've had unprotected sex, if you have symptoms like sores, rashes, or unusual discharge, if your partner tests positive for an STI, if you're pregnant, many doctors screen for syphilis early in pregnancy, regular STI testing is part of responsible sexual health, especially if you have new or multiple partners. If you test positive, don't panic. Syphilis is treatable, usually with a simple injection of penicillin. It's also important to tell your partners so they can get tested too. Early treatment protects you and everyone around you. And don't skip follow-up tests. Doctors often retest after treatment to make sure the infection is gone. Now let's talk prevention, because while treatment is great, not getting syphilis in the first place is even better. Here are a few smart steps you can take to reduce your risk. Use condoms every time you have sexed. They're highly effective at reducing transmission. Get tested regularly if you're sexually active, especially if you have new or multiple partners. Talk openly with your partners about STIs and testing. We know it can feel awkward, but it's part of healthy communication. Avoid sharing needles or engaging in risky behaviors that increase exposure. Prevention is about taking charge of your health, and it starts with being informed and proactive. Before we wrap up, we need to address something important, the stigma around STIs like syphilis. Many people feel ashamed or embarrassed when they hear they've tested positive. But here's the truth. STIs are medical conditions, not a reflection of your worth or character. 
Millions of people contract syphilis and other STIs every year. The key is not judgment, it's education, testing, and treatment. Let's help break the stigma. Share this video, talk openly, and support one another. When we normalize sexual health conversations, we make it easier for everyone to get help without fear or shame. Syphilis is nothing to be ashamed of. It's more common than you think. And with early testing and treatment, it's completely manageable. Got questions about the VDRL or RPR test? Drop them in the comments below. We're here to help. And if you found this video helpful, give it a like, subscribe for more health content, and share it with someone who might need this info. Stay informed, stay healthy, and remember, knowledge is power.